afternoon ladies and gentlemen Troy Golding marriage officer with you once again what a pleasure to be with you it's a Sunday afternoon it is the 11th of the 11th 2018 a very very special day armistice day the guns fell silent on this day 100 years ago at the end of the first world war and uh, I'm off to do a wedding a beautiful place just outside of Stellenbosch called Landskap and uh, it is truly an amazing place it's an amazing venue I've got an awesome couple today it is a couple called Marco and Bronwyn and I've been looking forward to your wedding guys I look forward to it it's going to be absolutely fantastic to be part of it and uh, I think we're gonna have lots and lots of fun today yeah so there's the beautiful um, views that we've got and uh, it truly is an absolutely magnificent venue so guys yes it's Armistice Day it's uh, very significant my grandfather was a prisoner of war during the second war, for, uh, the first world war sorry and um, in March of the 24th of March in fact he was captured by the Germans and put into a concentration camp and uh, yeah so it's quite significant the end of the hostilities in the first world war that i can just sort of remember all the people that lost their lives during that terrible war and what a terrible war it was but we're not yet to talk about war we're yet to talk about love love the love between uh, marco and bronwyn guys it's going to be absolutely fantastic I hope you're going to enjoy everything about your wedding. It's going to be absolutely awesome. As you can see, I'm not on the bike today. I am actually in the vehicle. And the reason for that is simple. I've got this very bad knee at the moment from the, when I was hit by a Tarantal or a guinea pal that flew up while I was on my way back from a wedding. And uh, I have to go for surgery, not this week coming, but the week after. And uh, yeah, so I've decided just to stay in the vehicle yesterday and today and uh, tomorrow i've got another wedding but tomorrow i will definitely be going with the bike because otherwise i'm going to hit traffic being a monday so here we are guys just entering landscape awesome place i will show you what this place looks like and uh, yeah we'll see you soon hey guys welcome to landscape yeah just outside of stellenbosch what a beautiful day it is sunday the 11th of the 11th 2018 uh, and looking out at this beautiful venue the beautiful views it really is truly a great day to be here um, today it's the wedding of uh, Marco and Bronwyn and it's going to be absolutely awesome to be part of it so I'm going to show you around show you what this gorgeous place looks like and uh, I'll give out their details towards the end so that you can obviously contact them should you would like to use this particular venue so check this out <laughs>
yet, eh? <laughs> Trust me, he's going to pay for the rest of his life. No, he must. Yeah, he's going yeah, to. It gives me such great pleasure this afternoon to welcome each and every one of you here. Yeah, you're here because you're the special friends and family that have been chosen to be here. You know, I've been privileged to marry people for many years, almost 20 years now. And I can genuinely, honestly, and truly say that I've never, ever met a couple that I'm going to marry and stand in front of a couple that I'm going to marry that met on the Golden Arrow bus. <laughs> yeah. Golden Arrow bus. Uh, the most romantic thing that you could ever do. Get on the bus to go to work. Bronwyn, you stole his seat. No, he, no, stole, he stole your seat. seat. Stole okay, mine. sorry, I got that one wrong. Marco, did you intentionally steal her seat? I had no idea. No idea. You just got on the bus, you went to sit on the seat that was available, and Bronwyn, you were annoyed, huh? Obvious. Hey, it's <laughs> obvious. Munch my seat, huh? Oh. You know what, guys? God works in mysterious and wonderful ways. For the two of you to be on that same bus, yeah, that's already quite a, quite a thing. But for Marco to decide to sit on your seat, and for whatever the reaction was that you had to the fact that he was sitting on your seat, it obviously sparked a conversation. It sparked something between the two of you. And what you didn't realize probably at that moment is that the first amazingly beautiful words of your love story were, were written. I call upon these people present. I call upon these people present. To witness that I, Marco. To witness that I, Marco. Take you, Bronwyn, to be my wife. Take you, Bronwyn, to be my wife. I call upon these people present. I call upon these people present. To witness that I, Bronwyn. To witness that I, Bronwyn. Take you, Marco, to be my husband. Take you, Marco, to be my husband. Marco, you may kiss your beautiful wife. Sorry, Baba. Sorry. <laughs> Why are you apologizing? <laughs> Just one second into the marriage. Okay? One second into the marriage and you're doing that. <laughs> so who are you saying sorry to? Papa. 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 <laughs> well, you should say sorry because that was a bad kiss. I mean, considering, <laughs> considering the four years you've had to practice, I would have thought you would have been able to do a little bit of a better kiss by now. So Marco, we're going to ask you one more time. Your wife has some expectation of a decent kiss. So I'm going to ask you, please give your wife a decent kiss. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Newkirk. Make some noise! <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. That's the wedding of Marco and Bronwyn at the beautiful Landscape. What an amazing day, what a warm day, it was so hot standing there in front doing that wedding but uh, yeah it was such an amazing time to be with this wonderful couple and what a nice couple they are as well, Bronwyn and uh, Marco thanks very much for choosing me and uh, congratulations again on your marriage and for your two kids, Kessia and Cassius, it was lovely to have you guys there as well, thank you very very much Okay guys, so if you want to contact Lanskap, their details I'm putting on screen now. Feel free to contact them, they are going to be more than willing to help you, uh, to tell you what dates they've got available, but uh, as you can see from the vlog, what an amazingly powerful place to get married. Such an amazing view that you can see right in front of me, and uh, it was seriously very, very lacquer. So guys, contact the beautiful Lanskap as soon as possible if you're considering your wedding to be there. If you're looking to um, utilize somebody like myself, you're more than welcome to contact me. My details, contact details are on the screen now. Troy Goldie, Marriage Officer. Please feel free, contact me via my cell phone or my landline number or even my email address. It's always best to do the email because uh, I know I'll get it. And uh, also feel free to also contact me via uh, Facebook or even uh, YouTube maybe uh, but whatever you want to do just contact me guys if you want to find out more information about getting married in South Africa have a look at my series of vlogs about the legal requirements 
of getting married here in South Africa and if you want to you're more than welcome to look at the other vlogs of the other venues that I've been at to do weddings so from my side guys I want to just say once again congratulations Marco Bronwyn it was fantastic to be with you and uh, from my side I want to just say to all of you live long live well live like there's no tomorrow and remember love unconditionally until next time cheers bye bye guys